Mountain in Kingsland, Texas. The rocks that make up this hill are part of a fall founded block of Paleozoic rocks, which are surrounded by pre Cambrian granite. Here at the top of the hill, you see the Morgan Creek limestone and the Lion Mountain sandstone. Both are Cambrian era in age. The wedge sandstone is sandwiched between these two units, but it's not easy to identify from the ground level. It is the yellowish layer above the green layers and below the slightly darker Morgan Creek limestone. The Lion Mountain sandstone, the green colored unit, is interesting in that it isn't a sandstone at all. Sandstone is normally made up of quartz. This Lion Mountain sandstone has a special ingredient called glauconite. This is a piece of sandstone. See the small pieces of shiny quartz in there? This is probably deposited from an ancient lake bed after it dried up and hardened thousands of years ago. The Lion Mountain sandstone has sand-sized pieces of glauconite instead of quartz. Glauconite is an iron-rich mineral that gives the sandstone its green color. The mineral comes from fecal pellets that were secreted by trilobites and other ocean organisms millions of years ago. This outcrop also has white colored carbonite lenses that are richer in phosphoratic trilobite shells. In some spots, cross bedding can be seen in these layers. I think the most spectacular thing about this outcrop are the many fault layers that cut the rocks. Most faults have a foot wall, wall. Most have normal motion but some have oblique slips such as this. Look at these places where the faults have split these layers and then where they slid down from their starting point. You can see at the top here where the yellow is like slid down about five feet from its normal starting place. Then you can see it work its way all the way down to where it's just off-centered from the rest of it. Amazing. Think of this mountain as a sandwich with each layer made up of different types of rock all sandwiched together to form this, this mountain. That is some good glauconite. This is the Lanonite Dyke. I'm nine miles north of Lano on State Highway 16 in the Texas Hill Country. Two, one. Lanonite is a very hard granitic rock composed predominantly of potassium feldspar, blue quartz, and biotite. Two, one. It's the blue quartz that makes this granite so unique. And Lanonite is found only in the Lano uplift of Central Texas. The Lanonite Dyke is the only source of rock Lanonite in the world, and this road cut is the only public access to this dike. Lanonite is a rhyolite that contains blue quartz. It looks incredible when cut and polished. Published radiometric dating on this Lanonite indicated that it's 1.106 billion years old. That places it in the late Mesoproterozoic era. So if you're a rock hound and you're ever in the Texas Hill Country, why don't you come out on Highway 16, nine miles north of Lano, and look at this. It's really interesting, and this is the only place you can see it in the world.